exclusive interview with Wendy Williams, a talk show host, talking to TJ about the battle over her finances, her reported health troubles, and the end of her show. And TJ, I know we were communicating, okay. talking about your conversation with her. Yeah, and Robert, we have to remember, I mean, given the headlines recently, we might be quick to forget that this is a woman that for over a decade battled it out for the top spot in all of daytime talk. She has had an incredible run, but the recent headlines about her, she lost her show, she lost access to her finances, even lost her mind. Yes, her bank called her an incapacitated person. Well, Wendy reached out to us yesterday and she wanted to do something she hasn't done much of publicly lately. Talk. Are you Wendy of sound mind? Absolutely. Are you? <laughs> I am. Now, why would anybody assume you are not? Well, you know, when people want control of their accounts, they say anything, including something crazy like that about me. Wendy Williams wants to address months of reports and rumors about her mental and physical well-being. I don't have time to waste. Let's get this show on the road. After health struggles kept her from returning to her show for a 14th season. There's been a lot out there and you talked about your health, but tell us how your, how your health is. Health is very well. And um, I actually have had a few appointments. You know, I'm 57 now and I have the mind and body of a 25 year old. Wendy talked to us by phone, not wanting to go on camera, but wanting the public to hear directly from her, in particular about her ongoing legal battle with Wells Fargo Bank, which Wendy says froze her accounts for two months, a move she claims denies her access to her own money, preventing her from fulfilling her financial obligations, including mortgage payments and employee payroll. They say that I need somebody to handle my account, and I don't want that. I want all my money, I want to see all my money that I've worked hard for my entire life, my entire life. I don't lie, I don't cheat, and I don't steal. I am an honest, hardworking person. In court documents, the bank says they requested a conservatorship for the talk show host because they believe she is the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation, an allegation Wendy denies. Why do you think that a bank has taken a pretty extreme step to say, we don't think you're of sound mind to handle your own money. Well, um, you know, I want to spend more time with my family and, you know, working out and um, waiting for the responses to my money situation and Wells Fargo. And they don't like that. At one point during our conversation, a member of Wendy's team interjected. There was an individual internal to Wells Fargo that Wendy worked with that Wendy wanted to have her son begin to come in and have a little bit more say so and get a little bit of knowledge into yes. the inner runnings of Wendy Williams. So the yes. person that was there was going to be losing some of the access to Wendy that she had prior, and I don't think that she liked that. Just last month, it was announced that after 14 seasons, Williams' talk show would come to an end. And that Sherry Shepard would take over the time slot and get her own talk show this fall. Here's our special guest host, Sherry Shepard. Shepard had been one of the fan favorites filling in for Williams, who was said to be sidelined because of complications from her Graves' disease and thyroid condition. A spokesperson for the talk show host previously said it's been a challenging time for Wendy as she deals with her health issues, adding that Wendy has been assured that should her health get to a point where she can host again, she'd be back on TV at that time. How close are you now, would you say, to being able to uh, being comfortable enough to start working again? I'm very comfortable. You know, my partners with the show, everybody's ready. You're telling me at this moment you 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 are prepared physically and mentally you could go back to work and start hosting a show as early as tomorrow. You feel fit enough to do so? Well, give me give me about three months. I there, I, there are private things that I have to deal with, and then I'll be ready to come back 
and be free and ready to do my thing. I'm on fire. Let's go. Before we ended our chat, the self-proclaimed queen of all media wanted to speak directly to her fans. This is what I would love to say to my Wendy watchers. Keep watching because I'm going to be back on the Wendy show bigger and brighter than ever. Now, Wells Fargo did not comment at this time on this update, but in February they did tell People Magazine that they deny any allegations of improper actions with respect to Wendy's accounts and fully participate uh, in anything trying to, to help her with her debts. And again, they say they're only looking out for the best interest of their client. And I know a lot of people are wondering, uh, she is back in New York now where she wants to be. This is home, but they said she just wasn't able to go on camera. So I do want to explain that part of why we weren't able to see her even on Zoom. But she says she's ready to go. But the things she has to work out right now have nothing to do with her health. She says she needs a few months to work things out, but she says she is healthy enough to get back going. So, uh, again, all of us who've been around her and she's in this business, we've all known her for a long time. Wanted her to be okay. So good to hear her voice, at least. Good Wanted to, to be okay regardless of work or anything yeah. else. Just be okay. All right. Thank you so much. You got it, guys. And now